Man lies down in a coffin and turns the key. He instantly appears in the street. Then he arrives at a supermarket. He easily walks through the 10 meter steel door and enters. The supermarket owner is happily counting the money. The man is unaware that he is there. Then he takes money and goes to the safe, turning the code to open the safe. The man watched all this. The boss put in the tens of thousands of dollars he had earned today. He closed the safe. Then he went to the alarm and entered the code. Finally, he turned off the lights and opened the door. He also locked the fingerprint lock on the iron door outside. He didn't know that Tommy had seen the whole process. After the boss locked the door, the man disappeared. Here the man woke up from the coffin. He hurriedly put on his clothes, then opened the door and went out. Unbeknownst to him, his next door neighbor Jack have saw him. The man went straight to the door of the supermarket. He easily crossed the locks of the doors. Then he took the main from the safe. He also took a machine gun. And then he left in a hurry. At this point Jack lies down in the coffin. Then he turned the key. The mechanism started to work quickly. Jack instantly appeared in the house of the man's girlfriend. Straight through the large steel door of several dozen meters to enter the house. Tommy just arrived home. Home, still happy with the money he just earned. Little did he know that something terrible was about to happen. Tommy accidentally finds a coffin. It contains a mechanical device. He learns from Sam, the head of the library. In the dark ages, an ingenious demon had created a final machine, a mechanical coffin, said to allow access to the afterlife. So Tommy called Sam and his next door neighbor Jack over. Tommy decided to be the first to test it out. He lies down in the coffin. Sam turns the key. The machinery started to run wild. Tommy suddenly stopped breathing. As the two men became anxious, unaware that Tommy's spirit was nearby, they couldn't see Tommy at all. Tommy woke up and told them what had happened. So one by one they all tried it. The coffin's function made everyone very excited. They thought they'd found a treasure. But Sam thought the coffin was weird. They were told not to use it again. When Sam got home and was about to open the door, suddenly... Sam rushed inside the house, that's how he escaped death. So Sam started researching the coffin online. Tommy sneaked into the coffin while Jack was asleep. He sneaked into the coffin. This time he used the coffin's powers to get the money easily. But what he didn't know was that Jack had coffin's powers to spy on his girlfriend. That day Sam was still working on it. Suddenly, just as he was about to go and check it out, he was surprised to find a black mass. Sam died unexpectedly. There was an unsent email before he died. He wanted Tommy to destroy the coffin. Tommy thinks Sam's death must be connected to the coffin. So he prepares to destroy the coffin. But then Jack shows up out of nowhere. And the weirdest thing is, Jack was standing and walking. Because his legs had been paralyzed for over 10 years. This makes Tommy even more convinced that there is something wrong with the coffin. Tommy tried to destroy the coffin. But Jack knocked him out with a punch. Jack then lies down in the coffin. He came to Tommy's girlfriend Rose's house. Sneaking a sleeping pill into her tomato juice. Rose drinks it without realizing it. By the time she realized what was wrong, it was too late. She sent a video to Tommy before she passed out. It was only then that Tommy discovered Jack had been secretly in love with his girlfriend. He had even taken numerous photos of her. Tommy rushed to his girlfriend's house, only to find that his girlfriend had been driven away by Jack. Jack has tied Rose up in a warehouse. That's when Tommy comes to the door. But now he's no match for Jack. Jack takes him to the ground in a couple of blows. Jack has locked Tommy up and ready to play with Rose. But Tommy had already escaped and found Jack lying in the coffin. He threw Jack out and was about to destroy the coffin but Jack stopped him. Tommy set the coffin on fire with his gun. This scared the hell out of Jack. He was so angry when he saw the coffin burning. He picked Tommy up and threw him off the rooftop. At the critical moment Rose shot Jack from behind. But by now, Jack was immune to guns. He was unharmed. But he was attacked and thrown off the roof by Tommy. But he didn't die. His soul comes back to life. And just as he was having a great time, suddenly... No! Jack just disappeared. If you had a coffin like this, what would you use it for?